Hi, my name's Steve Ray from Makita UK and I'm here with UK Planet Tools and we're going to take a look at the new products launched in September. Now we're going to look at the DMC300Z on the 18 volt LXT platform. So this is a compact disc cutter which has a disc diameter of 76 millimeters in diameter. Now the discs that we can use on this machine are abrasive wheels which are at 76 mil. We have a diamond segmented wheel and then we have a continuous rim diamond wheel as well. So depending on what application we're using the machine for, depends on what disc we select. With this here, you can see we've got the standard cutting guard, straight cutting guard. On the guard itself, you can see you have a forward and a reverse on there, or an F and an R, which dictates it can go forward and reverse. So we can do that by the switch on the top of the machine. Looking at the machine itself, on the bottom, it takes an 18 volt LXT battery. On the front at the bottom, we have an LED light which up lights, so it will light up the area that we're cutting into. We then come to the trigger, which has a lock off function. So on the side there, we have a lock on, lock off switch. So we need to depress that to be able to press the trigger. And then once we release the trigger, it will automatically go to the lock position. So we need to depress that again. Up to the head of the machine, we've got a spindle lock at the top where the blade is. So when we want to take the blade on and off or change the blades, we hold that spindle lock in. And then we have an Allen key here, which is hidden down in the side of the body that we use to do that. So with that, we hold the spindle lock, undo our nut, replace our wheel, tighten it all up. And then once we've finished, we put our Allen key back in its little slot at the bottom of the machine there. So it's two hand whenever we need it. On the top, as I'd already mentioned, we do have a forward and reverse. So that switch at the top there, you can see has got an F and an R. So depending on what way we want the disc to spin, we can do that just by the flick of the switch at the top. And then at the side at the back there, we do have a nice vent as well, which has got a mesh cover. So it stops any debris or swarf getting into the machine. The reason why we might want to use this machine in forwards and backwards is because it is a compact machine, so it is going to be used in nice and tight spaces. So if you are cutting any materials and the sparks are shooting out the front, bouncing off the wall back to the user, we can switch it into the reverse so the blade will go in the opposite direction and it will make the sparks come out the bottom of the machine rather than shooting out the top. So it's more there just for preference on which way you're going to cut the material or what sort of area that you're in and it can accommodate by changing which way it cuts. That way, as a standard, comes out the box with the straight guard on for cutting materials, but then we do have the option if we want to use dust extraction or a depth adjustment with this, which comes in the box. So that's your depth adjustment guard with dust extraction on. Nice and easy to fit to the machine. All we've got to do is slot it in at the bottom. Once it's made contact, twist it round. We then have a lock button, which has an indicator to show me that that's now locked on. So now with the depth adjustment at the back, I can set the depth, connect my dust extractor, and now do different depths of cut with the dust extractor attached as well to remove the swarf. Now, one thing to be mindful of, when we do switch to this guard, it will give you a depth of cut of 13.5 millimeters in depth. And when we have it in the standard mode, it will give us a depth of cut of 16 millimeters. So with this guard on, 13.5 millimeters, depress the lock button, twist the body around, it will release the machine, and now we're back to 16 mil depth of cut. The machine itself runs at 20,000 RPMs, and it has got constant speed control on there, so it'll always stay at the 20,000 RPMs required. Even if it comes under load or against different materials, it will consistently keep at 20,000 RPMs. It has AFT built in, so active feedback technology. So again, if we are cutting materials and it pinches up on the blade, rather than trying to kick the machine out or burn the motor out on the machine, it will automatically switch the machine off and we will have to restart the on off button to get it working again. Electric brake is standard on the machine as well. So when you do release that trigger, it will instantly stop within a few seconds. So that is the DMC 300Z on the 18 volt LXT platform from Makita and it's available on UK Planet Tools website now.